Swabber like it's hot. Swabber like it's hot. Swabber like it's hot. Hey, what's going on? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking. Today, Jean, we're going to do our first review on this distillery, mm -hmm. the Sonoma Distilling Company. This is a California whiskey. California. Cherrywood smoked bourbon no whiskey. Never had a whiskey that's used with cherry wood that's been smoked. Okay. Um, mash bills, 67% corn, 20% rye, 13% cherry wood smoked malted barley, uh, two years old. Okay. ABV is on here somewhere 41, nope, 47.8, 95.6 proof. I think, Gene, this is our first California whiskey. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. What does it have? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Don't you have like a degree <laughs> in mathematics? Mm, yeah. Oh, that's hard. I tell you. Uh, so yeah, this is our first Sonoma. We do have one other that we will be reviewing here shortly. Mm -hmm. um, premium California whiskey. Distiller's edition. What'd you say the mash bill for rye is? 20. 20% 20 California rye. 67% California and Midwest corn, 13% okay. cherry wood smoked malted barley. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, this is a cherry rye on the nose. Double pot distilled. A cherry rye on the nose, Cherry you say. rye. Oh, like cherry. Cher cherry. Cherry it rye. It is a cherry rye. Cherry rye. I I would have thought the rye was, when I, I, I don't normally listen to you when you start doing this with your mouth. And then, um, I put it up to my nose, I was like, how much of this rye is rye? Because th this is like heavy, to me, I get a lot of rye. Yeah, it's like I have a fresh cedar wood underneath my nose, or I'm walking into a brand new cedar wood closet. Cedar wood is a good one, yeah. Cedar wood is strong with this one. <laughs> and and mushroomy, truffle-like. It, um, it is, it's vegetal. Uh, very vegetal, uh, I don't get- chocolate. You don't get what? I don't get smoke so much as just wood. Yeah, I don't get a lot of smoke. The, the, the cherries are there. It's more of a maraschino cherry than a fresh picked cherry. And a lot of wood, tons of wood. There's some dark notes in here. Yeah. Dark berry, dark chocolate, dark mushroom. And for two years old, I wonder if they color. This is awful dark for just being two years old. Does it say if it's artificially yeah, it colored? It does not say. Does not say. Not all bourbons will say. And it's got tasty notes written on there as well. well I'll read those off. A little bit of a, a like bit. a cinnamon butter on some toast. I'm going. Have a go in. There's a lot going on on my nose. Huh. Wow. Didn't see that flavor profile coming through. Hmm. The finish is a strawberry mamba that laid next to a fire pit overnight. I'm getting some coffee mm. and Tootsie Roll um, finish. Cherry chocolate with coffee finish. Chocolate coffee. I did not like this when we uncorked it. This The flavor profile is so, it, it soaks the tongue. Mm. Second drink. Opens up with a honey glaze on a fresh baked pastry, and the finish now is is peppers, cherry wood, cedar wood, oak. This reminds and me and mamas, strawberry mamas. This reminds me of that Woodford, but like in a the, done it right type of way. The distiller's edition. The yeah. Um, that one. Yeah. Okay. Because it has like the same kind of flavors, but this is done more correctly in my opinion the cherry and the chocolate and the coffee for me the, yeah i don't have enough for water and for cheers i don't know why you gave such a little well i didn't i didn't ex i didn't expect to like it you need more no i'm good i didn't expect to like it because i'm uncorking i didn't which is why we don't do very many uncorkings huh this is juicy oh yeah and cherry Mm. I've had a drink probably a minute or two now, and the finish is just now leaving me, and it's leaving me with wood. And that sounded weird. <laughs> it doesn't leave me with that kind of wood. Oh man, I was 
Leave me with the wood finish. I'm buying so much of this. Don't need Viagra. <laughs> Get Sonoma. No, not that kind of wood. It's like, uh -uh. yeah. Dang it. I, I was guess. gonna say it's like wood in my mouth, but that can go a horribly different direction too. <laughs> so, it's got a decent finish. How about that? I thought I was gonna have a really great <laughs> night tonight. Enough about the finish. Dang it. No more finishing. <laughs> I can't finish any further. <laughs> What'd water do for you on the nose? <laughs> well, I got my, got my wife to laugh. There's that. <clears throat> For me, it brought out even more of that sage, those rye notes. Yeah, yeah I was going to say rye notes. But when you say sage, I think Texas whiskey. Anise. Thyme. <coughs> Thyme for sure. Mm. Good, good note. Good note. Hmm. Crank the peppers up. Ah, the cherry. Do you need a dollar? I have one. Yeah, I didn't know if you wanted to put a dollar there. I do. Anytime the anytime it's a drastically much better mm. on our this review rather than then corking. Yeah, when we're taking our dollar. notes, we're like sometimes it's like this is horrible. We spent yeah. how much on this? Didn't like this at all. Just, you know, like letting it getting that neck pour out of the way. Yeah, and um, it is a thing, folks. Yeah, it is a thing. <sighs> much better. Like the better neat. Did you? I like it better with just a little bit of water. Because the peppers. Mm. I like the peppers. The, the peppers do shine more thoroughly through, but I think it's more, more well balanced on the palate during the um, neat. It's much more balanced on the palate neat. Okay. But I'm thrilled that there's rye I can pick up in here. Yeah. Normally I can't pick up a lot of 20s. You're infinitely better picking up rye notes than I am, unless it's labeled a rye or it's 51% rye or more. I don't know. I just, I, I can pick out that. Uh, huh. That, oh yeah, scores. I'm stuck between two scores. Uh, normally a two-year-old doesn't impress me this much, and again, not in the wrong way. Two-year-old whiskey doesn't impress me this much. Oh man. We're going off the rails here, I folks. I tell you, it's gonna be one of those kind of days. We're off the I, rails. Can just I am stuck at what I want to give this. Does this cross over into the 90s for me? Um, you know, I, I'm gonna say, it could easily be a 90, but I did an 89. I did an 88. Okay, for yeah. me, this is right on that verge, right on that windowsill mm -hmm. of being a solid 90. And for me, if you're a 90, it's one I think everybody will at least enjoy, like it, love it, well, right in between. Well, it's leaving me with a finish that um, is is like that little bit of a bitterness on the back of my tongue, but like a... Yeah, uh, yeah. I it, I, the, the, it's the finish that brought the, it down for me. Well, for me, the, 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 the legit finish, as whiskey people de define it, is about the first 30 seconds afterwards. Um, for me, two, three minutes later, I get that wood. I get that. It's yeah. right there on the back of my tongue. Yeah, 100% agree. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if that they call that a finish after it's been a few minutes. Well, I don't know what I call I'm it. I'm ignorant to that. If you know, let us know down in the comments. It takes me a little please. longer to get my finish. What'd you, uh, what'd you pay for it, Gene? <laughs> We're going off the rails here, folks. Forty-seven dollars. It's worth forty-seven dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's worth forty-seven. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. tell you that. Yep. Yep. It's I wouldn't. Worth it. I would not buy not sixty, nothing more than that. Um, but I would go up to a fifty-five, even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's worth the, it's worth this price tag. Mm -hmm. um, anything else left to add, Jean? Better not. Better not. I'm Charlie, <laughs> and I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs>